guys it's leather plug here back again with another video for you guys so as you guys can see by the title you already know what i'm about to be doing honey yes today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a new intro tutorial yes we're going to be using free apps and this time the intro will be about my little sister i've noticed that you guys like the previous one that i did with my sister which was a long time ago but yeah i decided to do another one and i'm sure you guys are gonna love this one even more so i decided to do this tutorial yes i thought of you guys and i decided to do it so we're gonna get right into the video okay so the first thing we're gonna do i'm gonna be showing you guys like the little clip of the intro that we'll be doing today which is this i'm not gonna play the song but as you guys can see this is what we'll be doing so like you guys know we'll be doing it into sections so we're going to do the first part which is this part right here what i did i went into pinterest and i typed in i typed in pink city aesthetic as you guys can see right here pink city aesthetic and once i did that the first thing that i saw was this one right here so i clicked on the three dots and i downloaded the image to my photo gallery library and once i did that i went straight into the app fonto then i clicked on the camera icon and what i did i clicked on plain image and i clicked on the white little box changed the size and i put it to 1280 and 720 done and I'm just going to use that as that. And then I clicked on these three little bars, add image, and I added the background that I was looking for. I'm just doing this to like make it the size that I want it to be in order to fit on the YouTube screen. So it's going to be like this. And then I clicked on a little save button to save it. And then I click on save image. So I'm not going to save it again. I already have it saved which you'll see in a minute so we're going to go into the app cap cut cap cut is where we're going to be making making the intro so i'm going to click on new projects photos and i'm going to click on the background that i just made on fonto which is this and what i did as you guys can see at the bottom here it has like this little clip at the end of the video what you're going to do is click on it and delete it and then you're going to adjust the photo to how long you would like it to be. I'm just going to put it at 8 seconds. I'm just going to put it at 5 seconds. Great. Great. Now that it's at 5 seconds, I'm going to add an effect. So I'm going to click on effect. And what I like to do, I like to go into basic first. And I click on, I clicked on shake. So it could have like that shake effect. Great. And then I adjusted it to the size that I wanted it to be. So I'm going to fix this. Great. To how long I wanted it to shake. I wanted it to shake for the whole, like that whole clip. So after that, I added another effect. And that other effect is we're going to go into mode. And we're going to scroll all the way down to add that butterfly effect. So there it is. The name of it is metamor met Metamorphosis. So we're going to use that. And that's it right there. So now I'm going to fix it to how I want it. I want it for the whole clip. So I'm going to fix that. So what I did is great. So that's how I wanted it to be. Great. So now we have the background. Now we're going to add the photos. So now we're going to just go into PixArt because that's where I found the little picture frame around the pictures. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on the transparent background. We're going to go into sticker. And what I typed in was picture frame. I just typed in that. And as you guys can see, there's this little like black picture frame right here with a camera frame i used that so what i did is i clicked on the little button that says effect so once i clicked on effect as you guys can see at the bottom here like there's plenty of stuff 
that says effects um canvas sketch and stuff like that so what i did is scroll all the way to the back and i click on colors after that you're gonna scroll all the way to the back again and as you guys can see like there's different colors of the frame so i clicked on the white one with the blue right in and i apply that and that's how i got the white one now that we've got our frames we're gonna go into fondle I'm going to show you guys like what what font I use and like the colors to make the name Julie Dior. That's her, you know, that's her calling name. So what I did is I'm going to reset this. So what you're going to do is go into PixArt. You're going to click on the transparent background and you're going to save the transparent background. Click on next and you save it. So I'm just going to save it. Then we're going to go into Fonto. Click on the camera icon. Photo album. And I'm going to click on the transparent background. Done. Add text. Julie Dior. I'm going to change the font. And the font that I use, it's called, let's see, Seagram. There it is. Seagram. That's what I use. Let me spell it out for you guys. It's spelled S. Seagram, Seagram or Seagram, whatever. I don't know how it's spelled, how it's called. It's spelled S E A G R A M. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put this right here and I clicked on style. I clicked on style, then I clicked on stroke and I added like a little pink, which is this pink, and I turned up the width to 10. And then I click back on text. I created like a color pattern. And the color pattern that I went for was white. Then I put like uh, this pink. And then the lighter pink. And then I put back white. And then I changed it to vertical. It should look something like this. Let me make sure. Let's go back into photo album and let's see like how I made it exactly. I think I used like a lighter pink. Yes, I used that lighter pink. And also the, yeah, I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna put this pink right here. Gray, apply. And the stroke, I'm also gonna change that to the lighter pink, which is this. There, was it that? Okay, it was that, but I'm gonna add white again. So create color pattern, I'm gonna change this one and I'm gonna add white. So it should be something like this. Great. And I think the pink that I used was this. Yeah, so that's what I did. Great. Apply, and then I clicked on style above and I added a shadow behind and I put it in white. So that's how it's supposed to look done. And that's what I did for all the rest of her social handles. So there's going to be a part where I do like I write Instagram in capital letters. Instagram. I changed the font then I used the regular font that came with Fondo. And the font that I used was Anton. I spelled Instagram wrong. Sorry. And I placed it there and that's for the social handles like I just put like the capital letters of what social media I was putting I just put it underneath the her social handle so I styled that I'm just showing you guys that one time so we don't have to come back into Fonto so I created I didn't create any color pattern I just left it in white and I just added like shadow behind but the shadow behind I put it in pink like a dark pink this type of pink and I turned down the alpha to 70 great so that's what I did let me see to make sure that that's the color that I used yeah so that's what I did and I saved all of that you guys are gonna do that repeat the same process for all of your social handles and your YouTube name or whatever once that is done you're gonna save that you know how to save great now that is done great we're gonna go back into CapCut into the first main clip that we was in so right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna add 
overlayers, which is your pictures and your YouTube name and everything like that. So I think on CapCut, it only allows you to add six overlayers. So you're going to have to save if you have like more stuff to add and stuff like that. And then you're going to add back the video and continue adding your overlays. So we're going to add our overlays, add, and then we're going to go into photos. So the first photo that I think I used was this one. And I kind of like tittle it a little bit like this. And then I'm going to put it for the whole entire clip. Added another overlay, which is the frame. We're going to add that. We're going to title it. Make sure that it covers the picture like a frame. We're going to place that correctly like this. Great. That's how it's supposed to be. And now we're going to fix it for the entire clip also. So after that, so I'm going to add animations to that one time. So I clicked on it in. And what I used was, I think I used something like, let's see, swing, wiper. I can't really remember which one I used, but let's see. I'm going to look back at a clip just to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. So where's the first piece that I did? Okay, I got it now. So the animation that I used, I think it was swing right yes or swing left no it's swing right so i'm gonna put it to one second great then i'm gonna do that for the frame i'm gonna click on swing right also and i'm gonna put it to one second great great so once that is done let's see we're gonna add the other picture so let's see okay now everything's great so everything is in place everything is intact so what i did is i saved that so i'm gonna save it done i'm gonna add it back new project great so now i'm gonna add her name click on overlay add overlay which is julie dior there it is click on it and we're just gonna place it okay open it up and we're gonna place it at the bottom here like that open it up a little bit more you know you have to see the name and we're gonna put it for the whole clip so we're just going to fix that and the animation that I'm going to add for this. Let's see what animation that I did for. Let's see the animation that I did for that clip because I really can't remember. Okay, now I remember and also let's see for the butterfly how I did that. Okay. So the animation that I use for this one, animation. I think I use the shake three, so I'm gonna click on shake three, and I'm gonna put it at two seconds. Great. Then I'm gonna add another over there, which is a butterfly. I'm gonna show you guys where I got it from. I got it from PixArt, but I'm gonna show you guys that in a bit. Which is this little butterfly right here. Add. I'm gonna make it a little smaller, and let's place it just above julie like that and then we're gonna open that up the animation that i use for the butterfly something simple i really can't remember but i'm not gonna keep going back and forth i'm just gonna do with what my mind tells me to do so i'm gonna use like a wiper and i'm gonna put it at one second or i could put it at two seconds also great so i'm just gonna leave it like that and that's the first part. That's basically what I did for the first part. So you guys could go ahead and save that. So I'm not going to be saving it because I already have all these clips saved and it's really taking up a lot of space. So I'm not going to save that again. 
so yeah that's your first part you're gonna click on the little flash button above right next to 1080p you're gonna save that so once that is saved i'm gonna come out of this and we're gonna do the second part so let me show you guys the second part which will be this part right here great so how i did that i went into the app photo grid remember we're doing the background first so we're gonna click on grid and i added two of her videos her favorite videos which is let's see video I'm looking for video this one and this one and as you guys can see I already gave like that slanted line so i clicked on it and i just left it how it was took i took off the watermark and i saved it i just left it how it was because it was giving me a vibe how it was so i saved that so once i had that saved i came out of that and i went into fonto reset this and i just clicked on plain image the white box and what i did is i changed the size to 1280 and 720 done i changed the color to this light pink right here and i applied it i used it and i saved it so once you have that saved what i did i went back into CapCut and i added the video that i made on photo grid great i deleted the little end piece and i added i duplicated the video great so it could be a little longer since it was like two seconds three seconds so i made it a little longer so i could have enough space to do what i have to do then i'll just reduce it when i'm putting them together so now i clicked on overlay add overlay and i added the photo which is the pink background i opened it up and i placed it for the entire video entire clip and i turned down the opacity to 70 yeah to 70 great and i saved it and then i'm gonna click on new projects and i'm gonna add it back and now i'm gonna add my effects go into mood scroll down and click on metamorphosis and as you guys see it's above you're over there so i'm going to place it for the entire video entire clip delete this little end piece don't forget to delete that little cap cut end piece because it'll always do that every time you're going to click on your project great so let's make sure that i'm doing the right thing i'm going to go back into photos and i'm going to look for the second piece that i did where is it okay 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 so now i'm gonna add these two photos that you guys saw with the frame so i'm gonna click on over there add over there photos and the two photos that i use was these two so i'm gonna click on this add photo i'm gonna crop it edit crop like here great and I'm gonna tittle it like that. I'm gonna place that right here. Put it all the way to the end. Add another over there, second photo. And I'm gonna crop that also. Edit, crop. Come down like this, come up a little bit, crop a little bit more, great. I'm just gonna put this right here. I forgot to add the frame to the first one. So I'm just going to fix it until the end, like this. And then I'm going to add another over there, which is the frame, the black frame, which is the frame, the black frame, this one. I'm going to add the animations to them right away. Animations, in animation. Uh, So I think I used swing. I'm gonna put it at one, two seconds. 
for the second picture I think I used um, swing bottom so I'm gonna put it at two seconds also great so I'm gonna do the same for the frames great so this should be like this great once that's done I'm gonna add another over there which is the social media handles um, I'm gonna start with this is Instagram so I'm gonna use Instagram we're gonna open this up and we're gonna place that like right here in the corner so it should be like that open it all the way to the end then we're gonna add another over there her Instagram is this great and what I did is I tittle it a little bit like this and I place it here so I'm gonna open that up a bit more great and then I open it up all the way to the end like that so I'm gonna add animations to that also click on it the animation that I use for Instagram is then I click on flip yeah and I put it at two seconds and for her in her social media name I think I use like a shake so I'm gonna click on shake put it at two seconds also great so as you guys can see it's gonna tell me that I reached the limit I've added six over there so I saved it new project click back on the little clip and now I'm going to add over there, add over there in photos. And I'm going to add the stay connected part. You guys can see it because it's white. I also did this on Fonto. I used a regular font. I can't remember the name, but I used a regular font from Fonto itself. Like one of those tin uh, fonts. So you guys could just do that and save it. I'm not going to go back there again. So we're going to delete that. And the animation that I did for this one was like a zoom in. And I'm going to put it at two seconds. Or even one second is good. Yeah, one second. Great, so that's what I did. Add over there. I'm going to add the icon. So now I'm going to add the social media icon, the Instagram, and I titled it. So let's see. And I just placed it right here. I found these Instagram icons, this Instagram icon and the Snapchat icon from the browse. I browsed it from Safari. So you guys could find that. I just typed in pink Instagram logo and I found it. PNG. So the animation that I use for this one in animation what i'm gonna do is make it shake or i could do a little blanks so i'm gonna put that two seconds great so this is how cute it should look this is the instagram part let's make sure that i added everything okay the last piece would be that okay so i'm gonna add that right now so i added like an extra effect so i went all the way to the end and i clicked on frame and the frame that i use is called night watch great so once that is done i save it and i think i also use night watch for the first part also i didn't add it in so i'm gonna add it in now to show you guys so effects all the way to the end frame and we're gonna use night watch great so that's what I did and I saved it it's done right now we have two parts out of the way still have two more to go yes I know it's a long video but we're gonna get there okay new project before we click on new project we're gonna go back into photo grid come out of this and I'm gonna erase these two videos that I used for the second part what I did was I clicked three times on the same video which is this great and I saved it I already have that saved so I'm not gonna save it again 
So I used that. I went into CapCut, new project, and I look. Let me look for the little clip, but that I did, which is this. But I'm gonna cut it short because it's really long, and I don't want it to be ten seconds. So I'm gonna put it to a part that I would like. So let's see this. Okay, I'm gonna open it up again to five seconds. Great. Delete this end clip. And now I'm gonna add over there, add over there, which is the same pink background we're gonna be adding, which is this. Open it up. So I'm gonna fix that. Come on. All the way to the end. Turn down the opacity to 70. I think this is a bit strong, so I think I put it at, okay, I think I put this one at 60. So I'm gonna leave it at 60. So now, what I did is I saved this, done, new projects, I added it back, and then I added an effect, which is mood, and then we're going to scroll down to metamor metamorphosis, yeah, there it is, great, so that's what I use, open it up for the whole clip, delete this little clip, great. So let me make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Where is that part? Great. Okay. So now I'm going to add these two extra clips for her Snapchat. Add over there. Add over there. Photos. No, it's video. So I'm looking for the two videos that she sent me, which is this one and that one. Great, so I'll have to crop it because it's not the same size as the phone frame. So I clicked on it, edited, crop, and now I'm cropping it like this. Great. So I'm going to title that like this. I'm going to place that right here. And I'm going to split it since it's so long. Delete that. Great. Add over there. And I'm going to add... I'm going to add the phone frame. So as you guys can see, it has like this white sh shadow behind. I'm going to show you guys all of that afterwards. So I'm just going to place this right here correctly. Great. I'm going to open it up for the whole entire clip. Great. Then I'm going to add over there. I'm going to add the second. I'm going to add a second video. I'm adding the animations to them right away. I think I use swing. So now I'm gonna add another over there, which is Snapchat, the Snapchat part. So where is it? Okay, there it is. We're gonna add that, we're gonna open that up and we're gonna place it here in the corner. Great. Add over there. And we're gonna add her Snapchat name, where is it? Okay, there it is. And we're gonna title that and we're just gonna place it right above snapchat like that open it up great so we're gonna add animation to that one time so we're gonna save this piece new projects we're gonna add back the clip and what we're gonna do is add over there and we're gonna add the snapchat icon so let's look for it no this is not it this one so we're gonna add that Let's see where I could place it right here like that. Great. So I'm going to put it for the whole thing. And then I'm going to add another over there, which is stay connected. Open it up, place it above, and we're going to open it for the whole entire clip. Also, the thing that I have to add is the effect, which is the little frame night watch. So now we're going to pass on to the last part and for the last part we're gonna go into photo grid i already know i'm gonna use another clip that she sent me which is this one i'm gonna put it three times as you guys see she has like these this little song icon thing right here so i'm gonna zoom up the videos a little bit so it should be looking like that 
And you guys are going to see that. So I saved it. And I went back into CapCut, new projects. And I looked for the little video. Okay, so I'm just going to click on this one directly. Which you, are, you guys already know. You add the pink background and you turn down the opacity and you save it. So that's what I did. Once you've done that, you add effects, mood, you add the metamorph metamorphosis, great, no, 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 exit, great, once that is added, you're going to add it for the whole entire clip, great, and you're going to delete the extra piece, okay, now that you've done that, we're going to be adding an overlayer. The video that I added was this one, so I'm going to add that. And I'm going to edit, crop it. Great. Then I'm going to tittle it to the side. Because we're going to place it. Because we're going to place it to the side right here. So I'm going to split it and delete that. Now I'm going to add the phone frame. Great. So I'm just going to fix that. And then I'm going to add another overlay, which is her YouTube name where is it okay there it is open it up like that place it right here great once that is done I'm gonna add another overlay which is just a little cute butterfly and I'm gonna place that like right here like that great so I'm gonna open it up Great. So now that that's there, uh, I think I can add another over there. So I'm going to be adding like this little pink. Okay, this is not the one. Add. And we're going to look for the other one. Okay, there it is. This little pink box. I went on the... the I went on Safari and I looked for, I was basically looking for a pink um, subscribe button and I found like this empty plain box. So I just saved it and I erased the background. And what I'm doing right now, I added a text, a text and I just typed in subscribe from here and I clicked on style font that i used was leo so i'm gonna make that a little smaller and i clicked on this pinkish tea but the color inside i put it in the white for the animation i clicked on animation and i used the first one fade fade white right and i put it to two seconds so i'm gonna leave that like that and i open it up Great. So that's what I basically did. And now for the animations. So I'm going to click on over there. Animations. I'm just going to put anything. Because you guys could basically use anything at this point. And I saved it. So I'm going to fix that. Add them back. So this is the first one. The second clip. The third clip. And where's the last clip? Okay, there it is. Add. So they're all added. The and transition that I use for this, and I use like these little white thingy right here. So I use a wave right. And I put it at one second. And I just like reduce the timing of the video because they were too long and then i'm gonna reduce this also and i clicked on mg and i also use like that white thing but this time i use the curve one and i put it at one second also and for the last part so i'm gonna make this a little smaller too then i turn the page green so now i made that a little shorter like that and i deleted the extra piece so this is basically the whole clip and that's how i did it 
so i'm just gonna show you guys real quick how i got the butterfly i went into pixart i clicked on the plus sign i scrolled down clicked on the transparent background sticker and what i looked for was pink butterfly and there's so many you guys could choose from but the one that i chose was this third one above and once i clicked on it i just added shadow i positioned it well how i wanted it to be i just put it at zero and i changed the color to white and i also went back and adjust and i turned up the opacity and that's how I got that and I saved it. So how I found the phone frame, a lot of you have been asking me. So I'm going to look for iPhone XR PNG. And there's so many. Look, right here. That's the first thing that pops up. You're going to hold it down and you're going to add the photos. So once you got that, you add it in Bazaart. So it could be a little bit more whiter. I think I did it here, photos. And I'm looking for the phone frame, there it is. Okay, this is the wrong one. Okay, it's this one. And I just add a shadow, opacity, I turn it up. I blurred it out, color, white. And then I just fix it to the angle that I wanted it to be. Okay, so I open it up a little bit like this and I change the angle. So this is how I did it and I saved it. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on notification bell so you guys can know whenever your girl posts. Okay, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you. Have a nice day and ciao. See you guys in the next video. Love you guys.